Hey everybody, welcome back to the My Bourbon Journey Whiskey Review channel. My name is Scott. If you're new to this channel and you're looking for reviews of different whiskeys, such as bourbons, rye, American style whiskeys, Irish whiskeys, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure to hit the bell notification. That's simply gonna alert you to when I'm doing new uh, uploads, live streams, things along those lines. If you're already a subscriber and supporter of my channel, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate all of your support. Also, if you'd like to uh, contribute or help support the channel, you can through my Patreon page, which I'll have linked in the description below. So today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different than I normally do. A lot of times, like you may already know, a lot of bourbons arise, things along those lines. Um, well, I wanted to try to uh, get into a little bit more of the, the Irish whiskeys and um, just kind of explore some of that. And I thought, well, a good way to do that would be let's line up a, uh, a small little uh, blind sample uh, tasting of that and see what it is I like and, and why. So the three bottles that you see up here are the, the ones I'm gonna be uh, tasting. My wife has uh, put uh, letters A, B, and C on the bottom of each bottle and glass. So I don't know what any of this is. And then at the end, I will reveal um, in my order of which one I like uh, least uh, up to the one I like uh, the best. So why don't we kind of go ahead and we'll kind of get into it. And again, I don't know what the, um, the letters are on the bottom of these, so I'm just gonna taste them in whatever order uh, she put them in. And then at the end, again, like I said, I will just kind of go ahead and put them in order uh, from left to right uh, as to the ones that, that I preferred. So uh, why don't we go ahead and we'll kind of get into it. So, all right, so number one here. So as you can see, Oh, she didn't pour a whole lot, but as you can see, fairly, fairly light. Um, you know, almost like a kind of like a Chardonnay wine uh, type of color to that. So um, it is actually uh, sticking to the glass uh, pretty nicely. The legs are running pretty good. So so that's a that's a good sign. So. All right. All right. So with this one. Um, my thought right away is you're you're definitely picking up that that grain that barley grain that's there um, along with kind of a, a fair amount of like a like a citrus like a green apple uh, kind of a light light oak note to that hmm Well, maybe a little bit of a kind of a, a light uh, pepper note. Yeah, I'd say it's fairly heavy on the uh, the citrus note for me, like that that kind of that green apple uh, note. Yeah, that's pretty much the the predominant. I mean, you're getting that grain, that barley grain there as well, kind of in combo with uh, the kind of green apple citrus note to that. Hmm. All right, let's give this a try. Cheers. So with this, I would say the the nose and the palate so far um, match kind of equally. So I'm getting a little bit of that that barley grain that's there. In combo again with the the kind of the citrus that green apple, a little bit on the kind of the the drier side uh, with this one. Um, there's a bit of a like a, a sour note. Maybe that's partially the the green apple, but there's a little bit of that that kind of sour note. A uh, little bit of like a kind of a, a floral note as well. Uh, maybe like a light honey as well. Yeah, um, really nice. Uh, it seems like it coats the, the mouth fairly well. Um, not a super long finish or anything on, on this one. Yeah, I would say, you know, for, I mean, my experience with Irish whiskey is, is not, um, you know, very, very much. I've, I've had it before, but um, yeah, I would say this so far, you know, fits a lot of that, that standard, uh, Irish whiskey type of, of uh, profile. So, all right, let's go ahead. I'm going to take a little sip here. Mm. 
All right, so let's move on to the next one here. Hmm. All right, so this one, this one already nose wise, um, I would say not quite as grain forward. Um, boy, interesting. Yeah, I'd say this is still a little bit on the floral, a little more, a little more oak on this one. Uh, still coats the glass um, really, really nicely. Color, this one's maybe a tad bit, tad bit uh, darker. Yeah, there's a little bit of um, kind of that that maltiness that's that's there as well, kind of that whatever that that kind of sour green apple type type of note to that as well. Huh. Yeah, I'm even getting a, a bit of um like a floral, but a little bit of a, a banana note to to that as well. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, um, even maybe some. Uh, yeah, some of the more kind of like uh, like green green fruits again that apple maybe grape uh, a little bit of like a pear to that as well yeah really really nice nose on that one as well so all right let's give this a let's give this a try cheers All right, so for me with this so far, um, you, this is this is a little bit more uh, grain forward. There's a little bit more of that that barley uh, note to this one. Uh, again, it's a little bit on the the drier side. Uh, again, that banana kind of starts to come out in this one as well. Those those again light citrus notes, uh, maybe a a touch of honey as well. Um, this is, this one is, is in, in the context of, of smoothness, this one's a little bit more, uh, creamy and smooth than the, than the first one. I would say the first one, there wasn't as much going on. This is a little bit, I would say heavier, a little bit more, um, you know, a little more oily kind of coats the mouth uh, a little bit better with, with this one. Yeah, I would say so far of the two that I prefer, I would prefer this over that. But uh, yeah, this one, there's a, that kind of um, butter, buttery type of, of note to it as well. Yeah, maybe even a, a little touch of, of cinnamon there as well. Yeah, really nice. That's a, a really nice kind of flavor profile i would say so far with a with an irish whiskey so yeah i really i really like that one. and this one um seems to have much more um oil to it it does want to coat the mouth um much better than the first one did a little more flavor there the finish on this i would say is is maybe more on the medium side this was probably fairly short for the most part but this is probably again more on the the medium side of of things so but yeah, really, really nice. I, I, I really enjoyed that one. All right, let's move on to the third one here. All right, so this one, um, yeah, so I think I know already which, which one this is. Uh, for me, right away, the, the finishing aspect is kind of jumping out to me on, on this. Um, and with the tealing has that, that rum barrel, uh, uh, finish to it. So this one, this one is, is fairly predominant. The nose is fairly heavy, uh, rum wise, kind of some of those, those darker fruit type of, of notes to it. A little bit more oak to it. Um, there is that, that, you know, that barley note that's there as well, but that's a little more underlying, really nice nose to this again, a little bit of oak. Um, some of the citrus, um, on this for sure is, is there as well. 
but yeah, that, that nice rum note um, is, is really, really there. A little bit of a kind of a, a black pepper uh, on the nose to that. Hmm. Some honey, some floral notes to it. I would say so far um, of the complexity, this is probably the most complex nose uh, so far. So let's give this a uh, let's give this a try. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but um, I guess consistently they've all coated the glass really nicely. That's a little bit um, different than a lot of the the bourbons that I normally will review. Um, is that they don't always want to uh, stick to the glass nearly as well. And I think some of it has to do with a lot more of the the non-chill filtering that um, is part of the the Irish whiskey uh, process or on on some some of them anyway so and this one has really really nice legs it's really clinging to the to the glass nicely so all right let's give this a uh, let's give this a try cheers yeah so right up front right away you're hit with that that rum sweetness the molasses the caramel um, very much more complex um, you know, in, in comparison to, to these two, but really, really nice. I, I like that, that kind of floral, that honey. Again, there's that green citrus note that's there. Uh, that's, that really seems to be a fairly, uh, predominant note that I'm getting, uh, with the Irish whiskey is that, that kind of green apple citrus, maybe grape, uh, some pear, uh, that seems to be a, a fairly standard or predominant, um, profile that I'm, I'm picking up with the, with the barley in the, in the Irish whiskey. So yeah, that, that rum influence, uh, that's a really, really nice, uh, whiskey coats the mouth extremely well. A uh, little bit of a, a little bit of a hug, uh, to that wasn't getting a lot of burn on, on either of the other two. This one, there's a little bit more, uh, there, a uh, little bit of dryness there as well, maybe a little uh, kind of with that dryness, maybe a little bit of, of leather uh, there as well, but really, really nice overall, fantastic um, Irish whiskey and, and one I would really enjoy uh, sipping on. So yeah, so I think there we, we kind of have that. So if I was going to put it in order of my... Let's do this. I'm going to go from, so my favorite will be here and I'll work this way. So I'm going to say, uh, so this is probably my least favorite. This is my favorite. Um, yeah, I think, I think I've got it in, in that order. So, so what we'll do is, and I've got the little card that, or the little paper that my, my wife wrote the, the answers down on. So basically what I'll do is uh, I'm going to reveal uh, basically from my from my left or your right this direction, and then we'll kind of just um, we'll see what uh, what they are. But again, all really good uh, for for most people. If you're watching this video, and and this could be of any help to you uh, on the Irish whiskey side, especially coming from someone who's got more of a, a bourbon background. I hope this kind of you know helps a little bit and maybe kind of pushes you in the direction of trying a few uh, Irish whiskeys because I think they're they're really really they are fantastic um, you know whiskeys so I hope you you'll give that a try so all right so let's give this a a look here and let's see what we've got here so again I'm going to reveal uh, from from uh, your right to left and my left to right. And then I'll take a look at the, uh, the glass has a letter on the bottom and we'll see exactly what that is. So, all right. So this is letter, this is letter A. So you can probably see that A. And A was the Kilbrin. So that was this little guy right here. So as you can see, uh, A on that. All right. So, and then we've got the next one, which was uh, B, as you can see, B. So B on there was the Jameson, okay? Which was a really, really nice. They were all nice kind of in their, in their own way, um, but really I, I, I enjoyed both. And then obviously 
uh, C, as you can see there, C here, and uh, C on the uh, bottom of the bottle here is the, is the teeling. And that's a really, really nice Irish whiskey. That would be, for me, uh, in starting out with, with some of the Irish whiskeys, you know, these two, I would, I would probably start if you like something that's maybe a little on the drier side. Uh, and again, this is the, the Jameson cask, um, cask mates, uh, IPA edition. So you're going to have a little bit of that, um, kind of like dryness and maybe a little bit of a sour to it just from the IPA, uh, part of it. So, um, yeah, so fan, both fantastic whiskeys. And what I'll probably rightfully do uh, on their own is I'll, I'll do a more formal uh, review, but I wanted to do something blind just to kind of see, um, you know, what it was that I preferred, why some of the flavors I was picking up. So, uh, so yeah, there we, there we have it. So from, so I prefer from left to right, the, uh, the teeling, which is the um, uh, rum cask uh, barrel finished uh, Irish whiskey the Jameson Cask Mates uh, IPA edition, and the, uh, the Kilburn. This was just a little sample bottle I had uh, picked up the other day. So I hope you enjoyed uh, that. That was a, a lot of fun for me. Um, so with that being said, so like, subscribe, uh, leave some comments. Let me know your thoughts on, on these, if you've had any of these, and just kind of you know what you prefer, any suggestions, things along those lines. I'm hoping that people watching this video down the road will pick up on some of the suggestions that you may have uh, for, for other uh, Irish whiskeys. So uh, again, like, subscribe, leave comments, um, you know, all of that. So I appreciate everybody uh, checking out the video. So uh, like I say, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers.